Hi folks, it's Evo here from Thunderous Lure Company. Welcome to today's episode, so glad to see you. And if you know what, if you're tuning in for the first time, feel free to subscribe because we got a great family of subscribers and they're usually the first to tune in. Tune in. So welcome. I'm excited folks because today we're fishing for walleye and I'm using one of Antonio's favorite methods, live bait. And I'm running the, uh, the T-turn bait rig, the live bait rig. This is number 2A and uh, it's also known as a high-low rig and with the T-turns on there as you know no line twist no tangles my minnows can swim around freely and what I'm gonna do today folks I'm out here working the Niagara River the water temperature is 34 degrees so at 44 degrees the walleye will start to spawn so when they're on the spawn uh, they, they shut down on the bite but right now we're at 34, 30, 30, just over 34 degrees, so I'm hoping that there'll be a good walleye bite on. And with my bait on the bottom, I'm going to let it sit there, and the current is going to move my minnows around. They can spin around freely on the T-turn, and I'm going to slowly drag my bait back and wait. That's going to be the technique today. I'm just going to wait a while, let, let the minnows spin around, and then drag it back another foot let the minnow spin around wait another little while and see if i can entice a bite it's a beautiful day they're calling for rain later so i'm hoping to get in for a couple hours before the rain shows up and have myself a great day on the water so glad you could join me oh i just lost oh, he's on he's on oh boy folks just as just as the cameraman just as he shut the camera off on my intro i had a hit Oh boy, this feels like a nice fish. Now, there could also be lake trout here this time of year. I just lost them. Oh my goodness, that was a good fish. Okay, there could also be lake trout this time of year, so you never know what you're going to bump into. Look at that. Two minnows, both gone. Time to re-rig. This is exciting. First cast, I can't believe it. There we go, folks. Oh, this is another good hook set. That was a slower bite. This is, doesn't feel like that fish I lost earlier. The fish I lost earlier, I'm sure, was a trout. This is fighting more like a walleye. And I said there's lake trout here. There's also, there's also steelhead here as well this time of year. So you never really know what you're gonna catch. I think it's a walleye. He's fighting like a walleye. Well, maybe not. Hard to see. I seen a little silver in the water, but he's definitely not fighting like a trout. He's fighting like a walleye. And what is it? It's a walleye. Fighting like a walleye because he is a walleye. Where's my net? Where's my net, folks? It's a nice, nice size walleye right here. Oh yeah. Good one. There we go, folks. That's a good eater right there. That's a nice walleye. Let's get a let's get a look at him. Hey, that's a nice male. Beautiful. That's a good keeper size right there. Look at that fish. Gorgeous walleye. And he took my top bait. Oh, look, he left me the minnow too. How do you like that? Wasn't that nice of him? I don't know if I'll reuse it. I'll probably uh, freshen it up. Although I don't have a lot of minnows. I only have about a dozen. But he's gonna go right in the box, and we're gonna get re-rigged and get my line right back out there again. Okay, so I've got a fresh middle on that top bait. Let's get it back out there again. The reason why I like to not just stand here and fish, the reason why I like to work my bait back towards me ever so slowly is because I'm going to work all that territory as opposed to if I just left my line out there and let it sit in the current, I'm only working that small area. By bringing it back towards me, I'm actually working more ground. And then when I get to the boat, I cast it out again, go to the left, go to the right, and I'm working lots of territory and I'm increasing my chance for a bite. That was a nice bite. He actually bit once and then he just gave me a nice tug and I set the hook on him. See if I can get into another fish here, folks. What a hit that was, folks. We had the camera running because I felt the bite. And then he stopped. 
So the cameraman grabbed the camera and I just kept working that, that minnow back towards me ever so slowly. And he just picked it up and hammered it. What a bite that was. Oh my. What a good hit, folks. Real good hit. Wow, this is exciting fishing, I'll tell you. Uh, I think it's another walleye. We'll see. No, nope, you know what, folks? It's a steelhead. It's a steelhead. That's what I think I missed the first time. Okay. There we go, folks. Talk about a bonus fish. We got ourselves a steelhead. And he looks a little bit beat up. That's okay, because we're going to keep him. Boy, that just, what a good hit he gave me, folks. Uh, see if I can just get under the gill cover there to get this hook out. Uh, he was fighting differently. I love these long shank hooks on these rig 2As. They're good for, good for all game fish, and they take the hook out real easy. This one is really beat up. Look at that. I don't know what happened to him there, but that's okay. He might have had a rough winter. Still a nice fish nonetheless. All right. Talk about a bonus fish. There we go. I got a few minutes, a few minnows left, so I'm going to have to re-rig and get right back out there again. What a great hit. That was worth my day right there. Just that hit. <laughs> Talk about a subtle bite, folks. So you know what, with this braided line, I'm feeling absolutely everything. That was a real subtle bite. That feels like a walleye, not a trout. How can I tell the difference? The walleye just come in a little bit easier. The trout, their head shaking, they're flopping around. This definitely feels like a walleye, which is great. And of course, I'm running a fluorocarbon leader. And of course, the T-turn bait rig is pre-pied with fluorocarbon line. And I've got myself a nice little eater, folks. Well, not yet, I don't. Oh yeah, that's a nice little walleye. There we go. Great to see this size walleye in here. That's a nice, nice eating size little male. Look at that. Nice little hook set in the side of the mouth. Hey, isn't that a nice little leader right there, folks? Beautiful fish. Nice, nice fish. Okay, let's get it in the live well. And... You know what, folks? Spring is upon us. Don't worry about if it's cold. It's a late spring. Enjoy the spring. Enjoy the uh, weather, the great fishery we have around. If you haven't got a line wet lately, get out there by all means. Get a line wet and have some fun. I'm having a lot of fun out here today. So glad you could join me on today's episode of Thunderous Fishing Tips. And as always, folks, until next time, good luck and good fishing. This is great.